Now, police have arrested several people in Hong Kong as they cleared the last remaining pro-democracy protest site. It's the last stage of more than two months of demonstrations known as the Umbrella Movement. Well, now current leader, um, C.Y. Lung, has declared an end to what he calls the illegal occupation activities. Police gave activists a warning to vacate the Causeway Bay site before setting up a cordon around the area and removing tents. A small group refused to leave and were then arrested. Arrested. Despite the setback, many activists insist the fight for open elections in 2017 is not over. Well, for more on this story, let's go to our reporter in Hong Kong, Tom Grundy. Tom, thanks very much indeed for joining us. So the last remaining protest site finally taken down after two months of sit-ins. Does that signal the, that effectively the pro-democracy movement is dead? Um, the movement, I, I would say not, but after 78 days of the umbrella occupations, um, I'd say those, those are concluded today as police uh, swept through that last remaining outpost, uh, an encampment in the shopping district of Causeway Bay. As you said, 20 protesters uh, were arrested, though I've heard that they've, they've just been released now. I'm not sure if they're on bail. Most of those had joined a, a sit-in, uh, refusing to leave in, uh, with some students and, and a guy in his 90s, uh, and, and police slowly, one by one, uh, arrested them and put them onto a bus. Around 400 police officers uh, very swiftly uh, cleared the area and restored traffic by around lunchtime. So beyond, well, a handful of, as you mentioned, a handful of sort of die-hard protesters arrested after refusing to leave, but beyond that, all the rest of the protesters have simply melted away. Yeah, well, they were given 30 minutes to, to leave in this last remaining camp, and uh, uh, m most had, had disappeared by the time police swept through. But uh, throughout the Occupy protests, there have been uh, 955 uh, people arrested, and around 30 of those appeared in court today, including student leader Joshua Wong. He's the face of the movement for many. He was among them. And he questioned whether the uh, Department of Justice was using the court to solve a political problem. Uh, they, they were charged with contempt of court after allegedly obstructing the, the clearance of the Mong Kok protest site a few weeks ago, and the case was adjourned until uh, uh, January 8th. Um, earlier today, though, um, police said that they would launch a three-month investigation to hunt down the instigators of the Occupy movement as well. Would you say that there is a feeling of hopelessness, that, in fact, nothing substantial was achieved? Well, the students uh, admit themselves that their demands for uh, universal suffrage, one person, one vote, without the pre-selected candidates that Beijing wants, and for the city's uh, besieged chief, chief executive, Si Wai Lung, to stand down, have not been achieved. But uh, certainly now Beijing has to contend with a new generation of democracy activists here in Hong Kong, many of whom were not especially politicized before this. And uh, the original conveners of this movement have promised an era <laughs> of disobedience. Uh, so we may see uh, other actions. Uh, and there's going to be a vote in the local legislature uh, to push through that election plan from Beijing, and that in itself may be vetoed by some pan-democratic lawmakers. In fact, one pro-democracy leader said a new gen uh, generation of Democrats had been born in Hong Kong. Would your assessment be in broad agreement with that? I'd say so. I mean, this has been the uh, culmination of a 30-year democracy movement um, and it's been the birth pangs of, of exactly that, from some uh, younger generation. And uh, Hong Kong's autonomy is, is guaranteed only till 2047, uh, when Beijing could, could step in entirely. So the fight will go on, and these younger people are, are, will be the ones who will be around uh, come the, the end of uh, Hong Kong's 50 years of continued autonomy. So would you say that Beijing has scored a victory with this one, or has the Chinese leadership merely survived this round of the democracy battle? 
there have been other protests in Hong Kong where it's it's been clear that the, the protesters, the people, have won, such as in 2003, a mass rally which ousted the first uh, post-colonial leader of Hong Kong. In 2012, there were protests against the uh, national education, patriotic uh, lessons in schools, and that was scrapped. But this, as you say, involves Beijing, and they did not budge uh, an inch on this issue. So, in effect, they, they, they may have won. But... Uh, of course, I'm sure they will not have wanted uh, the, the scenes we've seen on international TV um, play out over the last couple of months in Hong Kong. And police in particular now have their work cut out to uh, repair the damage to their reputation with a recent poll saying that they were less popular than the People's Liberation Army. So uh, it may be uh, the end of the occupation protest, but as a lot of the signs around those encampments said, uh, it may just be the beginning as well. Tom, thank you. Tom Grundy there on the line from Hong Kong. A Ugandan maid has been sentenced to four years in jail for assaulting a toddler in a case which sparked national...